And yes, I am going to play that with every review that I do from now on. So, get used to it. If you don't like it, just fast forward. And it takes a while to set it up because I have to get into iTunes and click play it. Okay, so the this really is a superhero review, though. Well, like, regardless of if it's a superhero movie or not, I'm going to play that at the intro of every at the intro of every review that I do from now on. So, this is the spoiler-filled review for Spider-Man: Homecoming. Again, spoiler-free reviews, as always, are found in the description. And golly gee, I really enjoyed this one. This is like, man, like, growing up, Spider-Man was always my favorite superhero. You know, because the 2002 movie with Tobey Maguire, that was my very first superhero movie that I ever watched. And so Spider-Man has always kind of had, like, the soft place in my heart, you know? And you may notice I am wearing a Captain America shirt. So, I'm glad that, you know, like I said, spoiler-filled review, like I said, I'm glad that Captain America was in this. Um, for, you know, he wasn't in it, but he was like, Chris Evans was in it as Captain America, but it wasn't the character. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you're watching spoiler -filled, spoiler filled review, I'm assuming you've already seen the movie, or you just don't care about spoilers. But for those who have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. How they use Captain America. That was pretty good. So... But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start with, like, the very beginning. So, the Marvel logo, using the Spider-Man music, the da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
I think Avengers takes place in 2008 as well, even though it came out in 2012. So, you know, if it's eight years later, which they've also confirmed, because Tom Holland, they've confirmed. I mean, it wasn't Tom Holland, but they confirmed about the little boy in Iron Man 2 that had the mask that was, like, about to get killed by the little Justin Hammer Century drone that Iron Man saved, and he goes, nice job, kid, and flies away. They confirmed that that was a young Peter Parker, even though it wasn't Tom Holland. But they've confirmed that that character is Peter Parker. So that's 2008, so if it's eight years later, or, yeah, even so it's eight years later, that means that that would actually be 2016 from 2008, which means it actually does take place in 2016. It's just a few months after Civil War, which can that canonically, in canon, I guess, in canon takes place in 2016, so it's just a couple months after. So it's not, you know, eight years later for the future, so that clears up that little thing that everyone's been complaining about. Okay, so now we get to the bad stuff. Even though there was not a whole lot of it, there is one thing I need to acknowledge. I did not like Zendaya. She was... Oh, man. She put, like, zero emotion into her role. She was like a robot. Like, I'm gonna deliver these lines like the most bored, monotone voice possible. Ugh. Yeah, she was like... I'm not sure if it was because that's what the character is, and that's what the director told her to do, or if she could have been directed better, or if she's just not a very good actress. I don't know, because I've only seen her in Disney Channel stuff, and most of the people on Disney Channel aren't very good when they're on Disney Channel. But then, but that's just because Disney Channel's writing is garbage now. But when they go on to do other stuff, they generally do pretty good. Like Zac Efron, High School Musical, that's an okay movie, but now he's in other stuff. Like, he's going to be in another movie in a few months with Hugh Jackman, and also, coincidentally, Zanea, that he, Zac Efron's done some pretty good stuff now. Um, like, Selena Gomez has done some other good stuff, like Hotel Transylvania. So, that's just because the writing for Disney Channel is garbage, so I'm not sure if it's because that's what the character is supposed to be, or if she's just not a good actress. I don't know. When Greatest Showman comes out in December, I'm going to judge her acting based on that, because then once that one comes out, I'll be like, okay, so she really is a terrible actress, or, oh no, she's just terrible in this one movie, because that's what the director told her. I don't know. I'll withhold like any sort of like judgment over her acting career as a whole until that movie comes out in December. But for now, I did not like her in this movie. Just the character. Again, I'm not sure if it was the character or the actress. We'll see. My final decision will be made in December. So, um... But yeah, that, that was going to be, I'll say at the end credit scene, okay, first of all, the second end credit scene, setting up the Scorpion. Oh, so good. So we may eventually get a Sinister Six movie like we were supposed to four years ago, Sony. Anyway, um, and at the end credits where it goes with Captain America, Captain America here with a little word on patience. Sometimes patience pays off and sometimes you wonder why you waited so long for nothing. I love that Marvel trolled the fans like that. That was so good. I thought, okay, well, the mid credit scene set up Sinister Six. What is the end credit scene going to set up? Is it going to set up, like, Infinity War? Is it going to set up, like, Thor 3? What's it going to set up? Nope, it's just a troll scene. Well done. Well done. That was perfect, because we're at the point where we, like, they're basically required at this point, because we expect them. If there's not an end credit scene, like, with Age of Ultron, where there's only that small mid credit scene that ended up not being needed to be watched anyway because they just ended up reusing that footage for Civil War, so basically there's not really anything worth watching at the credits of Age of Ultron, then we get disappointed. So, especially because somebody made a fake end credit scene before it came out that said that Spider-Man was in it, which everyone thought was real, including me, and I was disappointed to learn that it wasn't. But it was very well fan-made. No, I find it on YouTube somewhere. But, yeah. So the fact that they did that and then everyone got mad when there wasn't an end credit scene with Age of Ultron, but then when they did this one and it trolled people, we all laugh at the joke. We're all in on the joke. We think it's funny. Um, yeah, like, this was perfect. Like, I'm Team Cap, but I really enjoyed seeing Iron Man in this movie. Even though I do not agree with where he stands with the Soviet Accords. Uh, look at me, talking fictional politics. So, but I, like I said, if I could take myself back to, like, when I was 12 and this movie came out, I might want to move on. Like, why didn't this come out instead of Spider-Man 3? Because Spider-Man 3, we all know, was garbage. Why couldn't this have come out instead, like, back when that was coming out? This is, like, my favorite Spider-Man movie. I still like the Sam Raimi, the first two Sam Raimi movies. And I did like the Andrew Garfield movies. Like, I loved David Nelson as the Goblin in that one, but... This is the best one, because it felt the most genuine as far as Spider-Man is concerned. 
this was like, yeah, this is the Spider-Man that I grew up watching with like the cartoons and the comics. You know, he's like the wisecracking high schooler. And this is, they got the character spot on with this. I loved it. So I, I'd probably go see it again. I mean, I'm not going to, but when it comes out on Blu-ray, I'll buy it. So yeah, this is my favorite Spider-Man movie in the franchise. All right, uh, next Tuesday, I'm going to go see, was it War for the Planet of the Apes and Wish Upon. So check back on Tuesday for those reviews or Wednesday at latest. This is a double feature, so I'm not sure how late I'm going to get home. So Wednesday at the latest for those reviews. No promises, maybe later, but at least Wednesday. I don't know. Just check back around just next Tuesday and a couple days later. I'm not going to make any promises about when those videos are going to be uploaded. Things happen. Internet could crash. Computer could not work. Movie could get sold out. I don't know. But as of now, that is the plan. 